Have you ever wondered why there are wreaths hanging everywhere in England or why there's a ginormous Christmas tree in Germany at Christmas Town in Bush Gardens? It's all because of one thing. Tradition! Each European country here is packed with nods to Christmas traditions that originated in that particular country. Today we'll show you as many of those nods as we can as we go through each European country. It is New Year's Day today, so we only have half a day. There's a lot to see, so let's not waste any more time. We're starting in England, where the most popular Christmas story of all time originated. Before we dive into the story that changed Christmas, we have to point out the beautiful decorations here. These strands of wreaths show a tradition dating back to the 1800s in England, when a Lutheran clergyman lit a candle in a wreath every Sunday and told the nativity story. This custom spread to homes and churches and continues today. This looks much better at night. holiday show here is a huge nod to the man who invented Christmas. There's even a whole movie about it. Scrooge No More is an abbreviated version of A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This classic Victorian tale inspired people around the world to focus less on wealth and consumerism during Christmas and more on spending time with loved ones and spreading goodwill. As a former English major and a huge fan of Charles Dickens, I'm very excited to check out Scrooge No More. I absolutely love all things A Christmas Carol, and I can't wait to see it. Okay, I will still stand by All Things A Christmas Carol. Um, I think they did a really great job of having a short and sweet version of The Christmas Carol, but I could honestly have done without the corny musical piece. I'm not gonna lie, uh, I almost fell asleep during that. Uh, call me a regular Scrooge, I don't know. <laughs> My favorite part is that it was short, short and sweet. Well, I wasn't expecting to meet Father Christmas today, but we did. Father Christmas is an allegorical figure in England. Unlike Santa, he's more of a symbol of the Christmas season. You're not Santa. No a lot one. of people confuse no. you with Santa. Nicholas, he is the one who keeps the list of naughty and nice. I'm more interested in Christmas cheer, oftentimes seen carrying a Yule log on my back and a wassail bowl in front. A celebrity sighting right here in England. Father Christmas. I'm so glad he cleared up the difference between Father Christmas and Santa. They're two very different people. So it's good for someone like me who's not very knowledgeable in a lot of Christmas traditions. He's also, I think, more fashionable than Santa, but you didn't hear it from me. Now for Christmas and Killarney. Killarney has grown into one of the most spectacular places to celebrate Christmas in Ireland. The biggest nod to Christmas here in Ireland is the new show Celtic Fire, which is complete with Celtic storytelling and Irish dancing. So we're excited to see what this nationally acclaimed show is all about. Yeah, this show has really gotten me in touch with my roots, let me tell you. <laughs> I had no idea feet could move that fast. The athleticism of those dancers is incredible. I actually got goosebumps, which I never do, so wow. like, it was amazing. It was a very exciting show. Uh, it just felt like a giant Irish party. Lots of exciting clickety clackety, <laughs> lots of hand clapping. Just, just a fun show to watch and uh, be a part of. Here in Ireland, it's the little things that pay homage to Christmas traditions. 
Like the song, there's tons of ivy green and holly green here in Killarney. The ring of holly on doors originated in Ireland since holly was one of the main plants that flourished at Christmas time. This made it possible for the lower classes to decorate their dwellings and the tradition just kind of stuck. Next up is something that is always here in bush gardens regardless of the season, but it kind of represents a big tradition that happens the day after Christmas here in Ireland. Celebrated the day after Christmas, St. Stephen's Day is where lots of horse races take place as well as football matches and parties. This horse has clearly done a lot of photo ops. It just knows exactly when to take it's a picture. A natural. <laughs> was flirting with me. Uh -huh. We wanted to take a picture with him and he kissed me on the cheek. Wow, well, I can't compete with that. <laughs> I think Dustin stole her heart. Yeah, he sure did. The next country we're heading to is a completely different vibe from the party atmosphere in Ireland. If you've learned anything so far, please go ahead and give this video a like. Liking it just lets us know our efforts are not in vain and that you're getting something out of it. There's a lot of biblical imagery here, which makes sense considering how big Christmas Mass is in Italy. This next decoration is a Christmas staple in Italy. The custom of displaying a nativity scene at Christmas began in the 13th century in Italy. Traditionally, nativities feature the Holy Family, but they can also incorporate everyday people. In Italy, baby Jesus is typically added on Christmas Eve. If you want to celebrate the birth of Jesus through music, you should see this beautiful show. Unto Us is a choral celebration of the biblical story of Christmas. Those people can sing in the Unto Us show. It's definitely more oriented towards the biblical story of the birth of Jesus. Um, but it's beautiful with all of the different candlelight decorations. Definitely a much slower pace than some of the other shows here, but it's just absolutely beautiful from the decorations to the singing. Highly recommend it. Now for the country which has given us one of the biggest Christmas traditions that is celebrated all throughout the world. Let's first address this 50-foot tall tree. Since the Christmas tree custom started in Germany, it's cool to see how Busch Gardens has paid homage to that tradition. The O. Tannenbaum light show occurs multiple times throughout the night and is a must-see. aftermath a bunch of fake oh i regret doing that <laughs> snow suds man we love the winter theme here and it makes sense because out of all of the european countries featured here germany is the one that gets the most snow where you'll find snow you'll also find this very famous man
Santa is obviously well known throughout the world, but our modern image of Santa comes from a German illustrator, Thomas Nast. We have met Father Christmas, Santa Claus, and Mrs. Claus all in one night. Wow. How lucky are we? <laughs> well, we didn't really meet Santa and Mrs. Claus, but they acknowledged us and waved at us through the window. classic holiday treat was also invented in Germany. Gingerbread was invented by medieval monks in Germany in the 13th century. Shout out to Germany for giving us Christmas ornaments. They were invented in Germany in the 19th century, and naturally you can buy some here. Invented in Germany, nutcrackers symbolize good luck and frighten away malevolent spirits. I have been looking all over the store for one particular ornament, and they don't have it. It's a pickle ornament. That's a German tradition. You put the pickle ornament on the tree, the first person to find it gets another present. They don't have it here. You may have noticed that we skipped a European country because, well... I'm just a little confused. I feel like we're missing something because either everything's closed or we just missed like a part of France. I don't really understand what's going on. No, no it's both. Everything's closed. We didn't miss any part of France. This is just how France is decorated here at Christmas Town. France has one of the oldest Christmas markets in the whole entire world. There's nothing here. Overall, I'm glad that we decided to come to Christmas Town and to take the time to look at all of the little details in each country to see how Christmas is represented. And I think gave more life to the countries here. It made it feel a little bit more than just an amusement park. I would say of the three shows that we saw, uh, Celtic Fire is probably my favorite. For sure. It was a very exciting show. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. We're curious if you are from any of these countries, what did Bush Gardens get right? What did they get wrong? Comment below, let us know. We've never been to Europe. We'd love to hear what your thoughts are. In Italy, beep. <laughs> Christmas in. So I wasn't ready yet. I'm ready now. Now for Christmas in.